Why hello the guys, my name is Fat Nutshell and I literally just woke up but I still want to make this um, tutorial for Road to BOC, the final episode, I think it's episode 11. So I'm just going to get straight into it because I want to get this done because I've been holding off for a while because I've just been a little bit busy but let's just get into this. So um, I have all these comps that I had just left open accidentally but I think I just handled them right there. Okay, so now I'm going to go here into my cinematic, and I had these easiest keyframes, right? I'm just going to put that away, and I'll drag my clip composition into here. Okay. Oh, what's it doing? Why? Uh, it's being slow. Just be faster once, okay? Okay. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go back into my comp, and I look at my three marker. And I'll see that's when he's about to scope in. At the one marker is when he gets a shot. And I don't remember we did these effects. Like we spent like forever on them. So. Oh god I was almost about to sneeze. Oh god. Okay anyways. So um, at the one marker. I want it to hit the shot. And I want it to be right here. At this 11 marker. So I'm going to hit control T on this clip. To enable timer mapping. Then I'm just going to go. Bam, no. Nope. Hold shift and go on the keyframe. Why are you doing that? Okay, that's good. Let's turn the audio off. Okay, that's good. Um and then the last one. I don't remember what this last keyframe for. I think it's the last shot. He has got a last shot, yeah. Okay. So that's for the last shot. I just wanna look in between this real quick to see what the twixter looks like. Do we zoom out or I think we stayed zoomed in. Oh, we zoom out ever so slightly. So he shoots and then like we zoom out and it looks really cool when there's like lighter colors involved and instead of just black. That looks actually fairly cool. And we had a bulge in there, pretty sure, right? Yes we did. Okay. We got that and then it zooms back in. And then two shot he gets the two shot and then we have an optical flare. Why don't we just put a quick effect right here? Let's do another type of bolt, but it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna go listen to the audio to see where I can put the shot and like where what type of effect would sync good to that song. So one second. Yeah right there. So I don't really know. I'll, I'll figure something out. Okay, so let's put a bulge Bulge, yes. Distort bulge, awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put this to 300. Put this to 300. So it's a perfect circle, right? Then put the bulge height to zero. And then go over 30 frames. Wait, was that 30? I was running one, two, three. Okay, and then put the bulge height to one. Then keyframe these two. Go over uh, 60 frames, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it's almost at the end of the clip. And now bring the bulge height to 0, go back 30 frames, and bring the bulge height to negative 0 0.5, and then go back 30, go forward 30 frames, 1, 2, 3, and make this expand until the whole like clip is covered, like even the corners. So I have to do this. Okay, that's good. Just like that. And then I'm gonna ease these, these and that as well. And that's good. I'm just gonna run and preview that real quick. Maybe not on half, but whatever mm. yeah we're, we're gonna do that in quarter and whoo okay yeah that's that looks pretty cool
I'm gonna change the value for the negative part because like it goes like whoa and then it kind of expands out I'm gonna make it less like negative zero point two maybe yeah that looks better okay so that's cool and everything now I'm gonna go to my main comp okay go to this value pretty sure we have all the keyframes yes we do shut up computer shut up no one likes you Right there, this we are. Okay, so I'm gonna drag these like that. And just one second, I'm not actually gonna have it there. Okay, down, right here. Bam, there's my scoping. Okay, so this is gonna look really stupid, okay, because <laughs> it's like. Got this weird distorted chroma with this guy with light burst fading out, but whatever. It looks cool. Like this. Okay, then drag this keyframe. And I'm gonna end the whole thing right here. And I'm gonna have to remind myself, what is this audio amplitude for? Is that for the cinematic? Maybe. Wait, okay, let's just see. You. Uh, amplitude for it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I'm gonna just trim that there. Sweet. Okay. And then I go. Bam, 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 bam. Right here. And. Trim that, hit N, we bring this all the way over there, I know, it's annoying, trim comp to work area, now that's all we have, and now I can just go here, okay, um, I'll go here, and then trim this, there, sweet, um, okay, now if I listen to the audio, he hits a shot there, right? And there's little like there's a little screen pump there, I guess you could say. I'm gonna have a little like it's gonna be like, mm, some like fast forward movement. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go over twenty frames. Thirty. Sure. And then I'm gonna line it up with this. Go up one frame. Go back a frame and drag that in so it just like pumps through it. Okay, so now I need to find my shot adjustment there because I have one of those, wherever it is. I think this is it. Nope, that's turbo displays. Mm, it, mm, nope. Where's the one of both? Come on, it's gotta be here somewhere. Okay, like, seriously? Okay, that's it. That's it right there. Should be it. Okay, well, I'm just going to duplicate. And drag over. Oh, I think that that's it. It's the same thing, but I just wasted time. <laughs> what as? Okay. Bring it down. Cool. The another little pump here. So why not? Okay, this one is another load pump, but it's much smaller, so I'm going to adjust the scale options. So I hit U for the scale. I'm going to bring this to. Oh no, wait. 
sure. Now I'll go to this one, and this is the big guy right here. Oh wait, no, that's not the right one. Delete. Come on, line up. And then just drag that over top of that. Okay, now what? Do, 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 do. And then just have it fade out slowly, I guess. I'm actually gonna go back to this um, into some layer and make the scale much less obvious because it's gonna be towards the end of the song. So like right here, gonna hit L, bam, and bam. We'll put this to negative 24, so it fades out slowly. Hit LL, and you can see that it's just like, oh god, my thumb. What the hell is that about? Just like had a spasm in it. Okay, that was weird. I'm gonna hit U just to find my keyframe again. Go here. And I'm gonna make a new solid control uh, control Y and call this fade. Make it uh, comp size and black, cool. Trim it, triangle, and uh, not triangle, T. <laughs> and bring this to zero. Bring all this to the end and make it 100 so it slowly fades the screen and it's nice and clean okay cool so got that done um this is done this is like done pretty cool so far um what's our time okay so we got this done now what I'm gonna do is just go here um, bring that comp there, open comps, main comp, drag it into another comp, close this main comp, open up this new comp, control K, render comp, so this is a render composition, I'm just going to close this, and I have to go back into my main comp to see if all the audios are turned off except for the song, or any, if I added any effects, so like, I need to turn this back on. I need to turn this back on. And that's it. Okay. Okay, cool. So now I can close that. Now, for the main comp, I'm going to go somewhere we can see the stuffs. Yep. Cool. Now I'm going to go back to look see that because that looks cool. Huh? Get back. And uh, by the way, I think the contest actually ends today, so I don't think I'm going to end her anyways because. Let's be honest, this edit isn't my best, but it's still cool to have that idea in mind. So, make a new solid, call this grid, go to grid, and I think I have a tutorial on this actually. It's like one of my first tutorials, I think it was my first tutorial. Put it to 2000, and put that to 200, and put this to 2000, put this to 720. And I think this is negative 2,000. I don't know, but I just move it. Cool. Okay, now put this to black. Put the border to 75. And just drag that over. Like that. And that's done. Now, um type in wiggle there's going to be a wiggle preset and all these like these are obviously good wiggles like the behavior ones are good but you know they don't work that well for me so i'm just going to make my own i guess so i'm going to type in transform okay so so now i'm going to alt click on the wiggle I go wiggle one no, 0 0.35, so it goes extremely slowly, and that's way too much, it has to be down like less, so I'll be like 0 0.33, okay cool, mm, we'll fix it in a bit, 
Then for position, alt click on the position, and this has to be even less. Like it's gonna be like 0 0.2 and like 3. Like it has to be such a subtle movement. Okay, cool. You don't really notice anything, which is good. Then main comp, just go here to my position. And click this and make it 105. So let's just go through edit and see if there's any parts where the wiggle is out of hand. And so far, so good. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the song and I'm just going to figure out, oh shit, no, no, no. Where's my walrus when I need him? The thing is, you guys don't understand, I actually have a walrus stuff animal in my room. <laughs> so the other day, when, you guys said, when I said that, I meant it. Okay, anyways, I'm going to save this so it doesn't react. And I'm going to think of a CC idea first. And I will be back once I have the idea down after the saves. So just give me a sec. Okay guys, I am back. So I just finished my CC and it looks pretty cool as you can see. Um, I'm just going to give you like the, how I did it. and Because I'll just like copy and paste shit and I'll show you. So basically I have my glow. I'm going to put it here. And then I can turn off. I'll turn these off. Okay, so first of all I put a glow. And I just put it to A and B colors and put the threshold to 56, crit radius to 100, intensity to 0.5, because if, if it was at 1, we could see that it's just a little too strong, way too strong. And yellow and orange for the A and B colors. Next, I got an FL Glow, because FL Glow is one of the new effects, not new effects, but it's one of the effects that has been making it lately a lot, if you know what I mean. Like, it's kind of been like, it's kind of been like an effect that everyone wants to use and everyone does use and it looks really clean. Um, the next thing, I got a magic bold looks and I will just show you what's in this real quick. I'm going to put that underneath. So I'm going to go to edit and I'll show you. I just put a, a vignette so you know have some little easy blur at the end and then the edge softness for actual blur. Then I got some bleach bypass which if you guys don't know just makes it a bit little silver tint and darkens it so like beforehand without it you see that it's a little bit too gold with the bypass I just make it darker and I could actually put this up a little bit I'm gonna put this to 35 because yeah that looks cool and then I got some pop and if you don't know what pop is it's basically just like a sharpen but it sharpens everything like uh, mostly a sharpen would just do like the main details this thing does everything and it's you know just it pops the map I guess you could say and then I got curves, so my RG in my RGB, I just got some basic curves. I got some highlights going up here, as you can see, right? And then I have some, you know, mid-tones and some shadows that have been lowered. And I want a little red tone to this um, edit. So I had a nice little highlight um, hump right here with the curve line. Then I had a tiny bit of mid-tones down, and then a tiny bit of... So tiny bit of shadows down, tiny bit of mid tones up, and then green and blue. I just left them because they don't really matter to me right now. So I'm just gonna click finished. So that's done. Sweet. And now I'm gonna go my last CC, and I just grabbed a basic curves just to darken it a little bit more. As you can see right now, it's it's pretty dark. But like, if when I drag this curves on, so Control C. You can see that it just gets a tiny bit darker and it just adds a nice little touch on the sides. And I'm actually just going to bring that up a tiny bit. Mm, come on. Yeah, okay, that's good. You can just see a little bit of light coming on, a little life in there. Okay. And then for my last thing, I just had a hue saturation and I just used the saturation, the master saturation, you'll see. I'll just bring that down. And I just made it more saturated, more dark. And it just like kind of killed a bit of the color in there, and I can maybe even bring that down to like negative twenty. Like that, yep, that looks good. And I can just go ahead and delete those. And it just like the wiggle control is always gets adjusted to new layers. So, um, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and render this. Um, and then I'll add gunshots and everything, and you guys will see a video called. Um, road to BOC, the results or something like that, because you don't want to watch me render this, right? Exactly. Okay, so thanks for watching this series, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. And that video should be up within the next three days. See you guys, and goodbye.